Hello everyone, I greet in the name of God Almighty. My name is Apostle Newton Silas and I'm here with Nancy Grace. And today guys, we have a very interesting video to react to. And this one says, Proof in the Bible. And this one was done by Khalid Yassin. I think today we're doing a lot of Khalid Yassin's video. I believe that this is going to be a very interesting one. So if today happens to be the first time of you checking out my channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my Facebook and Instagram. And if you have any video you want me to react to, don't forget to drop it at the comment section and I'm going to check it out. So guys, before we get on to the video, I'm a theologian and I make this video not to discredit anyone's religion. This is basically for educational purposes. And I believe that at the end of this video, we all are going to learn from it. So guys, let's get down to the video and check this out. First of all, yes, I did subject not the Bible itself, but I subjected what has been commonly believed concerning Jesus Christ, I subjected that to scrutiny. And I did so with evidences and references from the Bible, Old and New Testament, of which I've only given to you maybe a tenth of the references which I have here, which itself is only a tenth of the references that could be made available to you. And I'll just deal with one. And I'll ask, give you the chance to answer. You give me one reference in the Old or the New Testament to the Trinity. One reference. And the only one you'll find is the one that has been expunged, abrogated. This is the most blatant contradiction of the Bible. Among other blatant contradictions that I read, I say you or anyone else give me a verse from the Bible where Jesus said, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Trinity. Now, if Jesus didn't say that, if the historical Jesus didn't say that, then I say, that's like lying on my mother. That's like lying on my wife. That's like lying on your mother or your wife. And you would not allow somebody to lie on your mother or your wife. You would defend them. And I love Jesus more than I love my wife. And you should love Jesus more than you love your, your wife. And I said that that trinity is a lie and a fabrication against Jesus. And there's no evidence of it in the words of Jesus. Now, we were talking here about the historical Jesus. Now, relative to the Quran, the Quran has been subjected to scrutiny on a historical basis, on a scriptural basis, as to its source, its references, its validity. It has stood that test, but that's another discussion here. Here we're talking about several blatant inconsistencies relative to the person, the mission, and the message of Jesus Christ. And what I tried to delineate here is that there's obviously two different Christs. There are two separate Christs that are not, they don't collaborate, they don't mix, they're not compatible. One has got to be a lie and the other one's got to be the truth. Now if the one, the historical Jesus that I gave reference to is a lie, then it's up to the people to say that historical Jesus that you refer to is a lie. And the one that I refer to as being the mythological Jesus created by Paul in the church is the truth. So now I give you the chance to give us just one evidence of the Trinity, since that's the biggest lie. Good try. <laughs> I mean, a lot of metaphors, a lot of insinuations, but no direct reference at all to the issue of Trinity from Jesus. And 
ironically, my friend, in case you don't know this, Paul himself never mentioned the Trinity. The Trinity was decided in 354 by Constantine at the Council of Nicaea. I gave you the hint. I gave you the information. All you had to do was follow the dots. Now, I, I want to make it plain that we Muslims and Christians, we cousins. See, we cousins. We're all one human family. And we ain't gonna break out no knives or no guns, and we ain't gonna take nobody hostage here. And we're not gonna start no new crusade. What we're trying to do here is, we're trying to reason, said the Lord. Prove all things by reason. And I say, let's go back to the Ten Commandments of Moses. Before we start getting hypothetical, let's go to the Ten Commandments of Moses that starts out like this. Hear ye, O Israel, the Lord thy God is how many? How, how many? End of story. Hmm. That's a very interesting video by um, Khalid um, Yassin. Of course, Khalid Yassin was able to vindicate me how I have been saying that Paul never preached about um, the Trinity. Some people always say, Paul preached Trinity, Paul do this, Paul say this, Paul say that. I've always said that Paul has never teach about um, Trinity. It is rather consta Constantine. So if you want to blame someone about um, Trinity, you should rather blame Constantine and not um, Paul. Oh. Yes, I'm fully aware that Jesus Christ never mentioned the word Trinity but Jesus mentioned the combination of the Trinity and that's when I could make my reference to the Matthew chapter 28 from verse 19 that says that go and baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost. So he was not saying that Trinity, just like in the Muslim, there is no way it is written Tawhid. Do we have Tawhid in the Quran? No. But then we all know that Tawhid means what? The oneness of God. So he may not categorically mention that word Trinity, but he mentions some things in the sense that made up the Trinity. We could also talk about and understand that book of uh, John chapter, Apostle of John chapter 5 from verse 7 that talks about the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, both be a witness in the stand in heaven and all are one. All those things in the center things he mentioned, it is we who make it that word, we combine those words and then we call it in the sun, the Trinity. And that's why that is being back. If you look at it in the sun, then we we'll talk about the Council of the Nicaea that uh, Constantine understand said so, and not Paul, and not Jesus Christ per se, but rather Kalidiasin have actually in the sun helped me to make some people to understand some of those things because I've been saying this thing and some people will feel like because I'm a Christian that's why I'll keep you understand saying those things but it was never Paul then having known that Paul never say this kind of things then what do the Muslim have against Paul I think I would like to know that at the comment session that's if you believe what Khalid Yassin is saying being one of the Islamic um, scholar. So let's hear from you, Nancy Grace. Okay, what I have to say that I still believe in Trinity yeah. uh, is where Jesus said that he is going yeah. that after then he will send a comforter, yeah. which is the Holy Spirit that will yeah. dwell with us. Yeah. So though he was using it directly, but yeah. when you have the Spirit of God, you should understand that mm. he's talking about the Holy Spirit. Mm. That is the Trinity. Mm. And we are not expecting to just say say it the, mm. the trinity mm. so though he's not the one that say it whether it's constantine or whatever but mm. i say christian i still believe is the trinity mm. so he's trying to just look for a one word mm. that will make up god the father the son mm. and of the holy spirit mm. so it's just for us to believe yes there is god the father the son and of the holy spirit so i still believe in that well, 
that's a very uh interesting one so this is the end of our video if you like our reaction you should like share and subscribe and if you have any video you want me to react to don't forget to drop it at the comment section and i'm going to check it out so guys your thoughts and opinion are all welcome at the comment section let's all deliberate with one another so guys remain blessed and i see you in my next video bye bye, bye.